wait and see. If you've been watching my videos for a while, you know I hate the terms wait and see. Let's just wait and see. Give your child time to catch up. COVID was hard on everyone. Give them a little bit more time. Or your child's only 18 months. Let them catch up. Milestones come, you know, later sometimes. I absolutely hate wait and see. As we all know, getting services earlier helps your child achieve those services, uh, those goals, and overcome the, the issues that they're having. Um, like for speech, if you start lots of services, the articulation is better, the language develops better, and so forth. But there's something else that happens when you don't get your child's services earlier. So your child begins to struggle. And I'm talking about a little bit older elementary school, around third grade is where reading starts becoming more difficult, children start having problems, dyslexia starts getting noticed, and your child is struggling and is trying to keep up and can't. And what happens when your child is not getting the extra support they need? I'll tell you what, they start not liking school. They start thinking they're not smart and something's wrong with them because they're not getting it like their classmates are. Sometimes behaviors start coming out because they're embarrassed. They can't read on the level that everybody else is and they don't want anybody else to know. And your child doesn't deserve that. Your child deserves to get the supports needed to be successful in school. So when you think something is wrong with your child, that your child is struggling, that they might be having a hard time reading or doing math or even sitting still, it's so important for you to advocate for your child. Ask the school to evaluate. If the school says no, that's not okay. Push harder. Watch my video on PWNs prior written notice of what to do when the school says no, because there are avenues to take. You are the strongest advocate for your child. Make sure you know the rules and the laws around what you can do to advocate for your child. I'm Frances Schefter with Schefter Law PA, where we help families have a stress-free IEP experience. And if you wanna learn the laws and the rules and the policies that schools should or shouldn't be following, please subscribe below so that you can watch my videos and hear when I have new ones out. And if you have any ideas of videos of like, hey, I wonder if schools could do this, please comment below and I will see about doing a video for it. Thank you for listening.